Oh man, check this out. Have you ever seen an EDM this big? This thing is an absolute beast. Look at that dual heads on this monster. But you guys know I got the new plaid model. So what I drive, that machine's for that facility. I know you guys can do the calculation on that. Oh man, we're in Spain. And guess what? They have manufacturing going on on the highest level. Today, we're at Ona, baby. Ona EDM, the oldest active EDM manufacturer in the world. And guess what? I've been given permission to give you guys an intimate tour. That's right, EDM. Not a lot of people understand it, but it is truly an amazing art. It's part of manufacturing. Uh, there are no molds without EDM. So Ona actually started in 1952 making EDMs. This is one of their first machines of all time. So beautiful, right? 1956, that's when this machine right here came out. All right, we'll go upstairs. I'm gonna meet Sergio and the team up in the R&D section. There's Sergio right there. Look at him, he's trying to run away. Hello. What's up, brother? We are a company, you know, located here near Bilbao, 30 kilometers away from Bilbao. And this year is our 70th anniversary. So wow, that's awesome. Yeah. And in this area, you guys are here. There's a ton of other manufacturing going on. Yeah, 80% is located here, like in 25, 30 miles radius circle. That's crazy. So we got okay. R&D yeah. testing, all of yeah. that right up here. R&D actually is very important for us because 20% of the people are working here and we are developing our CNC controls, our generators, filtration systems and so on. So a lot of people don't know about EDM. They're just seeing our videos right now. And uh, what's the history? Like what came first, wire or sinker? Uh, sinker came first. It was in 1956 already. And the wire came after. We started manufacturing wire machines in 77. And if you guys haven't seen it, we actually did a video and we showed the Ona wire EDM making an electrode out of graphite. And then we took the electrode, took it to the sinker and sunk this thin, thin electrode deep into steel to show the whole process and the genius that is Ona EDM. the area where we manufacture big size machines. Here you can see different sizes of die sinking uh, EDM. Many of these machines are delivered to uh, USA and uh, Canadian customers where we have very good references in the mold making, especially for automobile industry. Now one of the cool things is like the automation. So see this is the Iris 4 right here. Now inside, I don't know if you can see in there, but There'll be a robot that actually changes out the electrodes. So like in a CNC machine, we're grabbing tools or with grinding, we're grabbing wheels. The robot here is actually grabbing electrodes and then putting it into the sinker EDM. And it's all automatic. It runs nonstop, crazy automation with EDM. You actually see the assembly for the medium sized wire EDM machines. Okay, so we have just seen the, the standard uh, production line and here we are in the big size uh, part of the company. Oh man, check this out. Oh, this thing is an absolute beast. Look at that dual heads on this monster. Have you ever seen an EDM this big? Let me get some information on this machine right here. This machine, this is the biggest that we are manufacturing in uh, Sinker. Right now we are preparing it for the main electrical vehicle manufacturer in the world. These double heads uh, gives us the chance to reduce the time in 50% and to increase the productivity in 200%. We have the most powerful generator in the market. It's possible to have 400 amps in each generator, so it means 800 amps. They're being politically correct over here, but you guys know I got the new plaid model, so what I drive that machine's for that facility. I know you guys can do the calculation on that. So, boom. Final touches before it actually gets packed up and goes to Canada. So 
now we're entering into Ona's testing and training facility. So they can actually bring customers in here. They can work on special applications. They have uh, machines on this side. And then when you go all the way over there in that room, temperature controlled to a different standard. And they have a little bit more of the high-end machines on that side. Pretty cool, those that actually get Ona machines, a lot of them, they come over to Spain for training, which is awesome. Shout out to Ellison, I see one of your guys here. I know you guys are always over here in Spain. You guys are too lucky, man. So as my experience in the EDM for over 30 years, the Ona technology is second to none in the EDM industry. The application of the technology, the design, the simplicity of the maintenance, across the board, the quality is second to none. This room is set apart and it's temperature control. So when it comes to the more high-end training or applications, uh, Ona can actually bring customers into this facility in a temperature controlled room and actually do all the testing. Shout out to Mitch Atoya. We got the Krista Apex S right here at Ona in Spain, baby. Now check out this turbine disc. The edges right here are so clean and absolutely perfect all the way around. And that can only be done with EDM. If you look from this angle, you can actually see these small grooves right there. And those grooves are actually created with an EDM, creating the entire turbine. Now, if you actually see the finished piece, you would never know that you needed an EDM to create all these little grooves but it's part of the process. One of the things I want to point out is you see these machines being built in Spain. Well, they're not being built in the US, but a lot of them travel to the US. And there's a big misconception because you're like, hey, we're bringing in foreign machines. But the focus needs to be on putting workers, wherever you're at, whatever country, having your guys work, putting your workforce to work. Now, is it better to wait until one day maybe you'll make a machine or get the right machines that will allow you to compete so that you can keep your workers working and have manufacturing in your own country. So a lot of these machines go to the United States and that's awesome because it allows us to actually EDM to create molds and incredible parts so we can actually manufacture in our own backyard and put food on our family's table. If you don't have manufacturing in your country, you're gonna struggle because a lot of countries, they look at being a service industry, but you have gotta have manufacturing. For many of us that were born to manufacture parts, and if you don't give us an opportunity to do that, we're gonna struggle in life. And that's what you see when you see manufacturing leaving a lot of the big countries. So let's get the technology, let's get the machines, Let's bring them over, let's put them on our floors and put our workers to work and uh, compete worldwide. Like people look at competing in, in a certain way, but I love competition. Like we gotta teach our kids to compete from a young age and when you're manufacturing, you're competing every day. And if you're in Australia, you're in Brazil, you're in Spain, like let's compete, it's healthy, let's do it. Boom. <laughs> 